What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. And oh, yes, don't forget. Do you know who I am? Let me tell you who I am. The biggest, biggest, biggest icon in the space today. And you know what? This is what I'm going to be talking about today on this particular video. You guys know this is coming. And let me just, it's a, it's a two part, two fold, not two part, two folded video here. All right, there's two folds to it. And on the one hand, I call this video where I would rather put my Tron in. All right. And on the one hand, you have Daisy. And on the other hand, you have a shit coin called divs.io. And I'm going to further the case why that's such a shit coin. All right. And let me just begin with this. All right. Yes. Daisy was a shit show. Cool. Oh, and here's a baby Daisy for you too as well. Inco Matrix. So Daisy, Daisy was a shit show. I get it. And uh, Divs.io has not been any better. That's been a shit show in itself. All right. And I got some, I got some whoa and wah and ooh coming for you with another, you know, more info on why Divs is such a shit coin. All right. And let me just begin with Daisy for you. All right. So Daisy's newest update just put out there a few hours ago here. Let me see. I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, actually, not that long ago. It was just put out there. Hmm. This was just posted. Uh, from the time of this video, probably about three hours ago. All right. So, here's the latest news. For those of you that's in Daisy or waiting to get into Daisy, all right? While onboarding of new members to Daisy is temporarily unavailable, the Daisy computers have over $25 million in the Daisy fund, fully ready for Indotech's all AI to act when the market makes its next move. Among many exciting things happening with Indotech, they were just announced as an institu institutional partner with Gemini. Ooh, ah. But that's not the ooh I'm talking about. We want every Daisy member to hear from Indotech's co founder, CEO, Dr. Anna Becker, and co founder, CEO, Dimitri Gush Gushchin, uh, and their insight into the Daisy project. So this Friday at 8 a.m. UTC. Uh, we are having the very first ever Indotech highlight call. So, uh, 8 a.m., that's about midnight West Coast time uh, for us here in West Coast America time. If, for those of you wondering how UTC time is, they're about eight hours ahead West Coast. So, midnight for us. Um, so, that would be this Friday the 29th at 8 a.m. on daisycrowd.com. And they said that we all know that everyone's waiting on the agencies for the reopening of announce to be announced. But today we confirmed that some important work still needs to be done before we go live. And they'll be going to be given uh, detailed updates on Friday's call. It's very important to make, take this temporary pause in order to make certain that Daisy is 100% ready to scale at its initial rate of growth and that the platform can easily transition into the future. Uh, blah, 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 roadmap. The moment we reopen Daisy, there are 55,000 plus participants wanting to do the following: upgrade, personally enroll new users, upgrade new users to upgrade the tiers. Uh, this creates a massive opportunity to build pre-launch momentum. So they kind of consider the 55,000 that joined during the shit show week, like myself, as uh, pre-launched people, the early birds, whatever you want to call it, right? So they said that this also creates a potential for 100,000 plus new users and 500,000 plus new transactions being triggered on day one. Possibly even the first few hours from going live. Go live 2.0 is a good problem to have. And now the focus internally is 100% to be prepared this time. And yeah, they want to be prepared this time. I think this is a do, a, do or die moment. Uh, if it fails again, I think it's done. Um, and if, if it succeeds then this is where the Tron's going to be. And that's what I'm talking about. So they have all this stuff. Everyone wants to go live 2.0 to happen ACP, but they're trying to make sure everything's good. So they're talking about 
How do you make the most of this uh, potential opportunity? Take action steps to increase your earning ability. Be ready to upgrade your tiers when you when uh, you crowdfund that go live. Personally, refer more people who crowdfund Daisy. Help personal referrals upgrade to higher tier levels, and all this stuff. They're talking about becoming a gold pace setter. They're going to reset that. Uh, every let's see, then you earn a share of every crowdfunding contribution. Blah, blah, blah. So we got all that. So that's what happened. All right. Now, this is where I rather put my Daisy in. All right. Let's go to a baby Daisy here. Let's go to the baby Daisy. I'm going to go over here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Over here. So this is the baby Daisy. All right. Yeah, it had a little hiccup too when they launched the i16, but it wasn't that big of a deal. But, you know, I've been in this thing. Um, I'm member number. 5199 and there's already nearly 20,000 now so I got in uh, day one when they launched this thing into going here so and I've already gotten this back uh, here not including withdrawing these two amounts here all right and I've already gotten that back and personally I've only put in um, Let's see, 35, I put in 30,000 Tron to get into you know, level 13 of I3 and level 13 of I4. And then I put in level 13 uh, with another 15,000 Tron uh, just a few days ago. So I'm already up to 35,980. So it's just 10,000 more and I'm already broken even on this thing. So, And uh, I'm just continuing to earn daily on this thing. So this is a baby. So this is just a baby version, but imagine this on a big, huge global scale. You know, not to you know say that this is anything bad, but it's just this is just a baby version of the mass potential of Daisy in itself. So I have these two hand in hand with one another. So let's take a look at this shit coin now. Uh, this garbage divs dot io. All right, so. They come busting out the door. They launched it late, all right? And when they launched it late, not only on top of that, the key people behind the platform received the dividends, or, yeah, the divs first. And what did they do? Two massive dumps happened, right? Just to give you, you know, the backstory. Yeah, the four hundred thousand dollar dump by one developer, and then a nine hundred thousand not dollars, but nine hundred thousand div dump. So that's one point three million divs dumped. All right, uh, before anybody could grab their divs. So that's some shady shit. All right, I don't care what anybody says. Uh, that's just some shit right there. Before anybody could get it, then finally people were slowly getting their divs right. Uh, first round, second round, third round, all those people that were in it. And then on top of that, there is just more to talk about here. I've already covered that in a video before that um, on uh, all that stuff, right? And so the latest today was um, that this is what happened here. So they launched the staking deal, right? Delayed as well. And on top of that, you know, there's supposed to be no fees, right? You can stake in, stake out, no fees. And so, what? There's a 20% fee? Wait a second. I thought you said there's no fees. Uh, nobody agreed to do a 20% unstaking fee, right? And so, it's new to a lot of people. Like, what? Why wasn't this talked about ever? It's funny how this was just uh, put in, right? And then, you know, he would say, oh, well, I didn't know either. And it's like, well, how could you not know? Why aren't you the main guy that took the time to develop the contract, work with your devs, and then to say you didn't know that, that you put it on, on you know, stuff, right? I put it on this that I did not know. Come on, bullshit, dude. You got to know this is this is something you worked. You said you worked hard on for so long. How can you say you did not know, and that you missed it? Isn't that kind of weird? And so, um, I mean, does I mean I think it would turn off a lot of people 
to say, oh, well, we have a 20% unstaking fee if you mention that at the very beginning. That's why it wasn't mentioned, right, until you started doing it and people started asking questions. Wait a second. Why is there a fee taken out when you said there was no fees involved? I mean, you could try to spin it any way you want it, but it is what it is. I mean, there is a 20% unstaking fee, and uh, it's just kind of wrong that to say that you didn't know. And then to say on top of that, this is insult to injury, that the developer didn't know as well. And then it was just sloughed off as, well, people copy code all the time, and sometimes, you know, you just don't catch those things, and I'm surprised it wasn't caught. And it's like, wait a second. But you've worked hard. You worked so hard on this deal to to say that you didn't know and that the developers didn't know. And that's why two developers dumped on you. Come on, dude. Really? That's some shit right there. And so, uh, yeah, a lot of people feel cheated about that, right? Just like how a lot of people felt cheated that the whole WISE deal didn't work out when there's supposed to be a big, huge partnership with WISE. And you guys said, oh, he wanted too much money. But that's what a lot of people were convinced that, oh, you have a wise partnership. Oh, shit, I'm coming on board. And then, oh, yeah, they wanted too much money. Sorry, guys, we're not going to deal with them. So a lot of wise people were like, what? How can that be? So you have that going on, fallen deal. And all of a sudden, uh, you did not know that there's a 20% fee. And so... Um, now you're going to try to feed it back into 15% burn and 5%, like, uh, I guess towards going back to the people that are in it. Right. And to me that, that would discourage a lot of people if you were upfront about it in the first place. But you have dweebs like Crypto West and say, oh, it's okay. This is going to help. It's going to help the platform. You know, nerds like Crypto West. Yeah. Uh, what else? Who else is nerds in this in this place? Uh, the Maddies and stuff. Oh, yeah, 20% fee. He loves 20% fees anyway. He does it with cash effects all the time. So it doesn't matter to him. Uh, but there, it matters to a lot of people, though. But... You're going to have these bloods support one another because that's what bloods do. They bleed crypto. They like to just drain people, pull and pull more sheeps in and think that people are stupid and that, oh, well, I, well, well, I didn't know there was a fee involved. And so, and it's funny how, um, when it comes to interacting with a contract that, the deployer of the contract can interact with the functions. And so, for example, the deployer is the creator. And the creator is, uh, you guys should know who the creator is, but uh, just saying. And so, if the, so the deployer can interact with the functions of this deal. And um, just saying that, hmm. I don't know. If the deployer can interact with the functions, what else can go wrong with this deal? That's the question here. And so I'm looking at this shit coin right now. And it takes three Tron for one divs when it was supposed to be launched with, what, 10 Tron for one div? That's a big difference. Three cents, or I guess it's nine cents, right? Versus uh, 30 cents per uh, divs here so i don't know it's just something to think about this 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 staking thing is supposed to happen on a week-to-week -week basis and every monday is supposed to be paid out they're thinking big oh 100 million dollars a week you know 100 million dollars every two weeks whatever it is right all these lofty goals and you know everybody wants to be like binance everybody thinks they could be the next binance and all that and so these guys think they can be too but in the end, just think about it. It's still a shit coin. And just like any other shit coin that wants to do an exchange, everybody wants to be the next Binance. So just be careful out there. Where would I rather put my Tron in right now? Well, I just told you guys, it's going to be Daisy. And you guys will soon see. And look, 
here it is again. Blood's just trying to screw people over again, once again. So we'll soon find out even more. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one.